you're able to click on this total that's been calculated, grab the fill handle, which is the bottom square of the, of the cell, and drag it down. And it will calculate all of your values all the way down. Now, this is, being, is referred to as relative cell reference. So each cell, the relative position is the same. So this value is multiplied by this value, and the next one, the one beside it, is multiplied by that one. And that is referred to as relative cell reference. Now, if we were going to calculate the tax on these items, what we would do is we would click equal to start the formula, click our total, put the star sign, and then we would click 0 .05, which is our GST tax, and we would press enter. And there you have the, the GST calculated for you. Now, the problem is this. If we click on the fill handle and drag it down, it doesn't calculate the rest of them. It assumes that if we're trying to drag it down, that we, are, we would be trying to get the value out of this cell and this cell and this cell. And so there's nothing in that cell. And so it's multiplying by 0. And so the result is 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to start over with this formula. We're going to delete this column here. And we're going to go the same start of the formula is we're going to click on an equal sign. We're going to select this value. We're going to put a star, star for times. And we're going to click on the 0 .05 for the tax total. Now this is called an absolute reference. We are trying to multiply the entire column by this one value. So what we're going to do is we're going to click F4 on our keyboard, the F4 key. And in our formula, you can see that it has put dollar signs around both of the values. OK, we're going to press Enter. And now it calculates that one. And when you drag down, it will calculate all of them. 